Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I actually wanna talk about a product that I bought and um, enhanced um, to, to work for me. Um, I'm not sponsored by this company that sells this product, okay? Um, I just use it and was um, happy with the results. So let me get to it. I have a 10 gallon holding tank. The holding tank is um, a holding tank for plants that I've purchased um, and haven't figured out where to use it yet, or um, it's plants that I wanted to grow out and get healthy and propagate more. So that's what I use this tank for. I also use it as a shrimp culling tank. So there's a lot of uh, shrimps from my Neo, Neocardinia uh, Bloody Marys that are, you know, throwing, I uh, guess, blue babies or, you know, strange Rishi, really, I mean, not Rishi, really um, types of shrimp. So I put them in here. And so the, the reason for this video was, the this I, I saw on Green Aqua that when they were setting up a nano tank, they used an Eheim surface skimmer, kind of as a as a as a filter, because it was it was strong enough to um, circulate the water in that tank, as well as skim the water. But if you ever seen the skimmer. All it has is a coarse little um, square sponge inside uh, inside it, a coarse sponge, right? Not even that fine. So it gave me an idea, right? Um, I started looking online for that skimmer, in particular on Amazon, and um, this surface skimmer showed up on my search results. It's called the Sun Sun surface skimmer and I'm gonna put it right in front of the camera right now okay Sun Sun surface skimmer okay that's the package um, here we go. right there that's what it is and I got this on Amazon right and what's so good about it right is that it's it comes with this small square or rectangular filter pad just one and basically it's dirty right away, okay? But if you look at the chamber, if you look at this chamber, it's pretty, it's pretty tall. So I purchased some um, filter floss um, pads on Amazon and I purchased a more finer sponge um, from the same company that makes um, those air driven sponge filters, right? And that, and then I put another one of those pads there. But I cut these into its shape and I made it, I made it much bigger so that it fills up all the corners, right? And that it's not, there's no opening. But what I, what the plan is that this will catch the, the larger particles, right? This will, and hopefully some fine particles, but this will probably catch the finer particles and this will catch whatever else is there, right? And I plan to just squeeze this out in um, tank water, right? When I do water changes, just to make sure I keep the bacteria growing, growing in there. And now it's a biological filter as well, right? Um, so it's been doing really well. Um, there are some little caveats to this particular skimmer. Um, one of them uh, is that creatures will get into it, AKA snails, baby snails, and baby shrimp, okay? Right now, there's two baby shrimps in there right now. Like, it's hard to see them, but they're in there. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal because when you pull out the 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 material, they'll just latch onto the 
the the filter pads and you kind of just take them off the pad and put them back into the tank right and if so i don't see that as a big deal um the only thing that is a big deal is the snails tend to get on between the surf the floating the floating device the floating platform that skims the surface right and when they do that this thing this this flotation um device doesn't follow the the water line as it goes down it gets stuck so every now and then every every now and then i go in there and i wiggle it to either squish the snail baby snails or knock them off from the in, in between the two and that usually does it um other than that i think that's it i mean it's been working pretty well for me um i also don't use i also don't use the the air hose that cause that makes the venturi i don't use that i actually cap it um with a a cap that i got from a power head from amazon a while back ago um power heads that are just very weak and i'm about to discard them um to replace them with um stronger power heads but these caps <laughs> these caps work really well for just capping that venturi hole as you can see the water flow is fairly strong right um unfortunately i got some hair algae on this bobitis mini uh which i'll probably need to take out or trim away um when i have a time but yeah this video is just about the sunsun surface skimmer uh i'll put the links to all the all the items that i just talked about on this video down down below so if you guys are interested in getting it but this is that's it i just wanted to talk about this it's been working really well skimming the surface um water flow is very strong in a little 10 gallon tank obviously um and you have a lot of space to work with you know um to fill in fill in with pads now if you do water changes um once a week right the evaporation level will never get to the point where this this flotation device would um cause it to not lower itself with the level right so i've kind of marked it off too i had to mark it off because i'm using a standard um rim tank right these things are kind of made for rimless tanks but a rim tank i had to mark off a water line because i noticed it was hitting the 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 black rim so you have to play around with it to to get it to to work for you um and that's what i did okay if you like more of these videos please uh subscribe hit the notification bell and comment comment on my videos um tell me if you don't like them tell me if you like them tell me if i'm you know you want to hear about certain other things but um feel free to comment okay i'll see you next time goodbye